Senior Minister Teo Chee Hien said climate change poses an existential challenge for Singapore. But our unique constraints mean the trade-offs it faces in cutting its emissions are much starker than other countries. So Mr. Teo, who chairs the Interministerial Committee on Climate Change, said overcoming these constraints needs to be done through long-term planning as well as innovations in policy and technology. For a small island city-state like Singapore, climate change poses an asymmetrical challenge. While Singapore contributes around 0.1% of global greenhouse gas emissions, the totality of global emissions, 100%, including the other 99.9%, affects us too, and often more seriously than it affects larger, better endowed countries. Our carbon emissions set real, cross-cutting constraints on our development and the daily lives of Singaporeans. We need to find ways to break out of these constraints through careful long-term planning and innovations in policy and technology. We look for synergies to give ourselves the space to grow. But when it is needed, we also have to make well-considered real trade-offs. In a wide-ranging speech, Mr. Teo outlined how Singapore is taking a considered, committed and collective approach to the global climate crisis. For one, the carbon tax, the carbon tax better aligns the real cost of carbon emissions with the emitter. At the national level, our comprehensive carbon tax, which covers 80% of Singapore's carbon emissions, one of the most comprehensive coverages in the world, encapsulates these trade-offs by better aligning the real cost of carbon emissions with the emitter. As DPM said in his budget speech, the government will be reviewing the trajectory and level of the carbon tax post-2023 in consultation with industry and expert groups. We seek a carbon tax level that will incentivize companies and consumers to switch to carbon-friendly products, services and activities while promoting industry innovation and new green growth. And responding to MPs' questions on whether Singapore plans to set more ambitious climate goals, Mr. Chiu said that the current goals aren't meant to be static. We will press ahead with the measures which are within our control and we will halve our emissions by 2030. But how soon we can achieve net zero that means eliminate the other half, depends not only on what we do, but it depends on what is done internationally in areas such as evolving and maturing key technologies and as well as international collaboration on key areas such as carbon markets as well as the import and export of green electricity. We will continue to review our climate goals with the aim of achieving net zero emissions as soon as viable. 